Howdy there, folks! How are y'all doing? My name is Reese, and welcome back to another episode of our disguised Minecraft series. What is it? Series of discussions described disguised as a Minecraft video. I've been kind of uh, I've been kind of crazy lately, haven't I? I've been a little bit crazy lately. I kind of wanted to go explore the world around us a little bit better because we've really spent most of our series in this sort of general vicinity. But uh, first things first, we're going to go collect some things that we got from monsters burning to death because that's always a fun time. And then also I found a potato in a chest upstairs and I don't remember where that came from, but I figured we might as well go plant it down here by some water or else maybe bring some water up to us and maybe plant them sort of up here somewhere a bit more reasonable. We really need to secure this mountaintop base. If we, you know, for any amount of time we are going to be living up here, I really feel like we need to secure the mountaintop base. Yeah, wow, I don't know how I didn't kill him. I don't know how I failed that, but at the same time, I'm not too I'm not too pressed. Anything that makes the environment more difficult to move around in is uh, is actually ideal. And in fact, I think that maybe the time has come to before we do anything, before I mean we really do need to plant that potato. We can just come do that at the top of the mountain. And then after that, I think we're going to secure our mountain. I think we're going to build a staircase out like we talked about before. And then we are going to, um, let's see, we'll build it right here, I guess. This seems like as good a spot as any. So we'll break that and we'll, we'll get some water and we'll put it in there. I don't have any on me at the moment. What I do have is a hoe. I've got a hoe. And so we can just go ahead and, and plant the potato. <laughs> lovely and then we'll get a bucket and we'll go get some water and then while we're down there we'll also start talking about you know like strategy so why is the map so little can i make that bigger settings um general settings mini map settings here we go scale one well let's make it like a three maybe would that make it three times the size and we'll see where that gets us <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's bigger. <laughs> it's bigger, all right. Maybe that's too big. I don't know. I kind of feel like two is going to be too small, though. Two and a half might still be too big. Let's just go to two, and we'll kind of see where that gets us. That might be big enough. So we'll save it. That's better. That's more reasonable. I can actually see. Okay. So we kind of want that uh, space underneath us here to be where we come out at. And that's going to be, uh, let's see, like sort of one... One, one, four, 415, negative 115, more or less, is kind of where we want to come up at. I've just made that number up, but that's the general idea. Do we want to use ladders? Do we want to just have it be like a straight shot up or down? We could do that. We need to bring down all these trees anyway. Is there... Do we have... Am I nuts? I thought that we had... Oh, that's the wrong tool. Um... I thought we had, like, vein mine in this pack. Was I just crazy? How many times have I said that and it's been wrong? Or have I said it at all? Oh, you know what I was doing? I was actually playing Sky Factory 1 the other day, and that's where that was. I'm not recording that, just just so we're, we're clear. There's no... I mean, there is a... I mean, yeah, look, we're probably going to be playing that in a series coming up soon. I just wanted to kind of jump in and see if it was kind of what I imagined it to be, and it is. And it was a lot of fun, and I spent a lot of time just playing it for the fun of it, which I don't do often in Minecraft. I don't really play Minecraft for the fun of it anymore. Every time I play Minecraft, it's like, well, this is this is the latest series. Let's get to it. Uh, so that was a good time. Okay, so now what we got to do is we got to go down here, and we're going to go into that little, little lovely alcove that we found in previous episodes, and we're going to just, I guess, start building a ladder and, and digging up. Digging up seems like it would be a hassle uh, compared to digging down, but we'll kind of see. We'll feel it out. We'll see. We'll see what the vibe is when we get there. Oh, it's you. You're still here. Please don't do that to me. I can't see what the effects are anymore because the map's now in the way. Oh, gosh darn it. I thought you would be dead by now. I just, for some reason, did not occur to me that you would still be out here. You know what? You know what? You, you absolute nightmare of a person. How did you kill me? See, my plan was to dig a hole and bury them in it because I just combat didn't work the last few times we tried that. But then instead what they did was they did this really cool maneuver where they just murdered me outright. Which is like totally fair. And like quite honestly, I, it was a bad attempt if we're all if we're all going to just be honest with one another. I, what made me think that that was going to work? 
Uh, there we go. Okay, was there a big item there that said take all items? Was that a thing? I didn't quite read what it said, but I think that might have been the implication. All right, you're still following me. You're you're so persistent. You're so obnoxiously persistent. You know what? We're going over here by this lava. What can go wrong? Dad gummit! You got me again! Dad gummit! Oh yeah. Oh yeah. There's my decapitated head. Alright. Transfer items. Yeah. Big button there. Okay, she's still up there. But she's kind of far enough away that I don't really care anymore. <laughs> as long as we don't get her hooked onto us again. Uh, let's see. Map, and then we'll delete our death points. Uh, oh wait, did it actually death four? Oh! Good, it's keeping track for me. We've died four times now. What fun. Which is lucky I don't have a bow and arrow or it would be all over with. And now it's getting dark. So like, okay, she's like way over there now. We led her away from my house. That wasn't my intention. That wasn't the plan or anything. It's just kind of what happened. And thank goodness for it. I thought I saw something creepy over there. I think it's just that, that dark hole there, which I think is just a cave or something. So I'm not going to worry about it. We've got a singular torch, so I guess we'll place that up here. Um, perfect. And then we want to go, I mean, I guess really right back here in this corner. Kind of want to go st straight up. Uh, so we'll do that. Except I haven't actually built now, I realize, any ladders. So let me just do that briefly. Let me just look away from the world. Oh, that's right. The ladder recipe is different now, isn't it? I don't remember how it works. Let's see. Ladder. Okay, fascinating. Thank you. Yes, I can. If I get a warped ladder, I can build a regular ladder. I need the raw materials recipe here. Thank you. That's what I needed. Something is approaching me. It's a sheep. Okay, good. <laughs> Did, I wasn't sure. Uh, regular old ladder. Right up the chute we go. Do you think we'll be safe? Can you, can can mobs can climb ladders? Can't they? I'm really slow at digging when I'm on a ladder, aren't I? I, did, I didn't even think to check how high up we need to go for some reason. I, I think we're pretty close, though. I can hear the sheep above us, so we can't have that much farther to climb. We are going to have to stop and make more ladders, though. Oh, you can stand on top of... The, of course you can. That's not a new thing. You've been able to stand on top of ladders for you know, time and memoriam. Hey! Looky there, and we've come up right next to my chest? Wow, what are the odds that trapdoor would lead me out here? Okay, we are now well rested and ready to build possibly a trapdoor here is maybe what we're going to do just to make sure mobs don't come out of that. So let's see, a trapdoor. But then also what we could do is instead of doing that, we could just have this nice open hole here and we can build some like walls. Can you build walls out of regular cobblestone? How does that work? Man, I'm asking some basic Minecraft questions out here. But yeah, we'll build some cobblestone walls. And we'll build some more torches. And we'll light up the space underneath here. The sp <laughs> underneath here. Can I build a cobblestone gate? No, Minecraft wasn't ready for that just yet. And that's fine. Minecraft, take your time. I want you to build cobblestone gates when you're good and ready. Uh, but we can build a regular gate. And and by regular, I do mean spruce. Spruce, th that's just what we're going with. Oh boy. Okay. And out we go. And then we're now out here, and we need to probably have a staircase going down here. In the meantime, though, like I say, a wall. We're going to build a wall. It's going to be beautiful. It's going to be a great, big, beautiful... And we're going to put a big, beautiful gate in that wall. Right here. Nice. We're going to light it up. And that should prevent things from, from getting upstairs to me. And then we'll kind of worry about the staircase later, I guess. Or I could just do the staircase now. I'll start I'll start the, the, the heavy lifting for the staircase. It'll kind of go down right here. Carve it into the mountain as such. So now, if we want to get up top there, we take the great staircase that is just really stacks of dirt. And we'll be an actual staircase soon, mark my words. We're going to get to that. Uh, and that'll take us up here to this lovely little gate. We really need to secure everything around the gate as well, and like all the way down the staircase, we don't get jumped. And then we go up the ladder, raise up the ladder. My little brother used to have this toy. I think it was Elmo, and it was raise up the ladder. 
and it was a, a fire truck. And that toy, it would think of, it was like the sound of a ladder being raised up. Um, that was one of the most obnoxious sounds on the planet. It was one of the most obnoxious toys in existence. Fun thing about it, though, the batteries never died. And we ended up finding that toy years later, a decade later, and the batteries still weren't dead. And it would still still do the raise up the ladder. And what you could do is you could mash the button for that line again and again and again, and it would just keep restarting. So we ray, 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 raise up the ray, 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 raise up the ladder, ray, 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 raise up the ladder. And if you think that sounds like a nightmare, yeah, it was, you're right. Oh boy, that brings it all back now. All right, I'm just gonna trim away some of the side of the mountain here. And uh, kind of make it impossible for anything to climb up over here. I think that I think that actually does it right there. I think we've made this now sort of a sheer, yeah, sheer wall. Nothing can get up there. Nothing should be coming down from there. I don't think I'm going to be coming down over here anymore either, unless I built another staircase and, and then we have to secure it and all of that. But Creeper did some fine work here. We're gonna have to send it a card, except it's dead now, so we can't. Take a quick gander around the mountain here. Yes, sir. -y. We are secure now. That witch cannot get us. So do we want to build a bow and arrow and try to kill her? <laughs> I don't think we have enough feathers is the only issue. We don't have enough feathers to build arrows. Uh, we'll have to find some other like weapon. Unless there's an alternative recipe for arrow that doesn't involve feather. Or an alternative recipe for feather. Ah, yes. Feather essence into feather. That's from mystical agriculture. That's fun. We love uh, chicken seeds. Absolutely, mystical agriculture is fun. It is a good mod. I, I, I won't, I won't joke. Um, oh, skeleton essence will make bones as well. From oh, okay. How do I get a skeleton seed? That an infusion craft? Yeah, all this looks familiar. I've done all this before. Honestly, today not feeling it. Fletcher though. Oh, well, where do I find one of them? We need to find a village, I guess, with a Fletcher in it. It's only just occurred to me that we we used to have a hole with creatures in it. Oh yeah, here they are. Hey guys, I know I've been gone for a while. Um, give me a second though. I'm gonna see if I can find some seeds to feed you. Industrial hemp seeds? I don't suppose you'll get in that hole willingly, will you? Like if I just keep nudging you in that direction. I mean, you're literally now walking in the opposite direction. Kind of want to get you in that hole though. Like imagine if you just went into that hole. Like imagine if you just like you fell in there. Like imagine if I just got a sword, and I did this, and you just went into that hole. Thank you. I appreciate that. Uh, chicks. Chickadees. Breed. Breed. Breed with your breed with your kin. It'll be fine. We've got ladders now, so we can get out of here safely. And I don't think a chicken could climb a ladder. Although, according to the movie Chicken Run, chickens can do a lot of things you wouldn't expect. So, what do I know? Can I shear a chicken? That'd be great if I could. Because I can shear sheep. I mean, I, there was one mod pack I played ages ago that let me shear other animals besides chicken. You could shear uh, shear a cow for leather, and that was weird. You could shear, I think, chickens for feathers, and that was weird. But it was great, and we loved it. And I don't think I've ever played another mod pack with that ability in it, and I've been kind of waiting for it ever since, but let's we need to face it. The days of good mod packs are behind us now. Everything just kind of is sucks in general, doesn't it? Uh, <laughs> not really. I didn't mean that. <laughs> I'm just an old man. That's the problem. Nothing will ever be as good as it was back when I was a kid, you know. Wow, I like this empty cave here. It's just it's just got nothing going for it. You know what's interesting is now, for the first time ever, the map is large enough that I can notice that it actually shows me um like which entities are kind of around me. Like if you look at the map up there, it shows, hey, there's squid over here, there's there's sheep over here, there's bat head over there. Is that just one of those bat guys? Can they be out during the day? Or is he like in a cave or something? I'm sort of curious. I'm gonna, it might just be a normal bat. Oh yeah, look, there's one right there. But then he's not... Oh, you're not a you're not a bat. You're a crow. That's kind of spooky. That's sort of ominous. I don't like it. It shows him being right... Oh, it's a bear. Okay. Hi. Are you edible? Well, we killed him, and he did drop hair of bear. 
don't think we can eat that. 